So do we have closing, closing thoughts? Um, what are our next steps? What are your next steps in this? And do you have any hopeful thoughts? Um, or, you know, are you feeling otherwise? I'm hopeful. Young Leader Circle is kind of starting off the year on a really good foot. And we're giving, like, lots of support and a lot of energy um, to Black and artists in the GTA. And I'm so happy to see them carry that work out and make something that they want to see happen for their community real. And I'm glad that we can kind of like see that happen, see it unfold and support it. Um, that's what I'm really hopeful about. I'm really hopeful to see how YLC can help build more solidarity between communities and more understanding about anti-Blackness and colorism within our communities. And I want to see where those conversations and that support and energy goes and building the future of those conversations. I am probably uh, one of the biggest like sci-fi nerds to ever exist. Most of the content I absorb <laughs> is like just weird science fiction. And um, I think that that's kind of uh, like I dream a lot about what's possible now that the world is kind of crumbled and it's, it's some kind of um, and is scattered in a different way. And I think that it's um, up to like creative folks who see something beyond it to um, kind of like rebuild stuff that's not so uh, populistic, fucking racist, um, uh, heavily policed, all of those things that I think that there's, um, it might take generations, but I think that it's possible. And I think that um, conversations like this are honestly how revolutions happen. So it's not always um, about rioting, which good for them <laughs> and burning down and uh, tearing down statues and stuff like that i, I was there <laughs> yeah, yeah which is awesome it's yeah. also kind of these quiet um places of resistance where things like that happen so um i've been seeing a lot of conversations like this happening which makes me hopeful um and i'm just like uh as bizarre as these times are i'm really grateful to have come from um a place of resilience because this feels like um, a global kind of apocalypse but I've also faced my own kind of like personal apocalypses leading up to this which made me kind of like okay with it um, which is uh, a bizarre kind of feeling but yeah hopeful and grateful uh, I'm really glad to have spent this morning with you and I can't wait to watch all of the other episodes so much to everyone for the insights. Miigwech. Dee? Yeah. Thank you. I'm hopeful. I believe that the women are going to be leading the resistance um, and the youth. Um, so I, I am really hopeful. And I just want to thank you for having us on here. And every little bit counts. And I believe, like, you are doing some amazing work and your idea for this show has been so amazing because there's so many powerhouses within the community that need to be heard and recognized and I just want to thank you for having me on the show. Uh, I'm grateful for you all coming on the show and for helping transform or take back this digital online space. Um, I wanted to um, just give a shout out um, to Adam Alick, um, which is a friend of mine who really inspired me to start this show. Um, we recently lost Adam during the COVID pandemic, um, not to COVID. Um, he had 22Q or DeGeorge syndrome. Um, so he passed from complications from that, um, but he was an inspiring public speaker who um, wanted to start his own online television show and had followers um, from across the globe. Um, so I was grateful to work with him as a mentor and uh, yeah, so I'm hopeful for this show and hopeful for moving forward and to uh, carry on that legacy. Um, Cease, do you have closing thoughts? thoughts? Um, just kind of expounding on that. I mean, I remember when you came to me and you talked to me about your friend um, and his idea for um, a television show. And then, you know, I heard the story about everything that happened. It, it really hit me. And um, 
you know, we started talking about like, what if we started a show, you know, and, and that was like, I want to say that was about a month, month and a half ago, maybe just a little bit more than that. And here we are. <laughs> and I just think that that's amazing. And, you know, just to see the, um, the strength that, and the resiliency that's happening in, in this space that we're doing right now is just, uh, it's humbling, you know, and I didn't even think I was going to be able to do something like this, you know, uh, you know, working with people and, and, and putting a show on, I mean, you know, if you had asked me in February, what I'd be doing at this point in time, I would be, like, I'd probably be out playing a festival or, you know, playing a show in town or, you know, getting ready for something. And, you know, it, it's so amazing how quickly things change and, uh, and, not just that, but I mean, you know, going through all of this, you know, all of this uncertainty, I guess, in the world, um, you know, to see people, uh, you know, find their hope, I guess, and, uh, and, and kind of follow that hope and, uh, where it leads them is very, very, uh, inspiring for sure. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of creative people, uh, you know, coming out of their shell and just starting to really share their creativity with the rest of the world in a way that they never did before because, something was holding them back oh you know it's not time or you know it, it just really feels like right now it's like the time to really kind of follow your heart and this is kind of uh for me anyway this is where i felt my heart was going you know like to definitely put something together that i could really be proud of that i could you know be part of a whole team and you know um yeah so it's really nice to be part of a whole team and, and actually do do a whole thing like this and uh you know get everybody together to be able to talk and and and, and share their stories um yeah, and it, 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 I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, so shout out to the CC Show team, our um, angel donor, as well as Taylor Jolin for <laughs> doing the artwork. Um, amazing. Um, you can catch us again on Saturday, July 11th, 2020 at 10.30 a.m. So we're going to be bi-weekly. Um, we will expand on this conversation with some more Voices for Change panelists. Um, in the meantime, as mentioned earlier, you can leave us your thoughts at cc and Seath. Seath is spelled S-E-I-T-H at gmail.com. Um, and I will close with calling you all to the table. Um, so there's been a lot of divide call, call out. So I want to call you into the table, audience. Um, go out and find um, so, some knowledge. Get on Google, like we said, find your black authors that are, are writing your black history, find your indigenous authors that are, that are writing the indigenous history, even learn about your own ancestry um, and, and where your people come from, because that's important too. Um, so I just want to recognize um, Skyly Storm, Krista, and Dee, Danielle, um, for coming today. Keith, um, for being an amazing co-host, and uh, we'll leave you at that call-in. Bama P, and see you in two weeks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>